If you are a Korean drama guru, you might have heard of the drama Crash Landing on You. Crash Landing on You was a big hit in South Korea, and it seems to be hitting globally after its release on Netflix. According to the drama's PR company Y3, Crash Landing on You is gaining huge attention in Japan. After its release on Netflix Japan in February, the drama immediately ranked the top 10 most popular shows on Netflix Japan, and as of May 18th, it ranked number one on the same list. Previously, Korean drama was popular amongst middle-aged people in Japan. However, this time, Crash Landing on You is not only appealing to the older generation, but making people of various age groups fall in love with the show. And this is not only true for Japan. The drama also received high ratings in the US. According to Observer, Crash Landing on You was one of the most viewed shows in the US during COVID-19 lockdown. Real Good, which tracks every TV show and movie available online, has pulled weekly data from March 21st to March 27th, and Crash Landing on You ranked number 6 in the most watched TV shows on Netflix US. It also won high praises from many other media outlets such as The Washington Post, Forbes, and BBC. In particular, The Washington Post commented, This popular K-drama is so charming it is easy to forget reality's constraints and binge your way through. Crash Landing on You is a story of Yoon Se-ri, a wealthy South Korean heiress who ends up paragliding into North Korean territory. This sends her crash landing into the arms of Lee Jung-yeo, a captain in the North Korean Special Police Force. Aside from its well-executed romantic plot, critics say one of the reasons for the drama's success was its portrayal of everyday life in the North by using North Korea defector writer as an assistant. The production team added that the writer based the synopsis on a real-life incident which took place near the Northern Limit Line. In 2008, a South Korean actress Jung Yang was enjoying her time on a leisure boat but accidentally ended up crossing the Northern Limit Line due to harsh weather conditions. She is known to have had a conversation with a North Korean man before she came back south. Have you watched the show yet? This was Sumi Yu from Korea Now. 